So let me let me ask you some questions about about the way you answered that. So you started out by saying unprovoked, unwarranted, and illegal, and then you switched to. So I'd like to delve into that. Why all of those? And then one one might conclude that there's territorial ambitions here in some sense, but and he is moving troops into a large geographical area uh, of some value merely because it's a geographical area. But you also highlighted the importance of a of a uh, a shift in governance in Ukraine away from a pro Western governance structure, and so how how much of this should we assume is territorial in some sense, and how much of it is his his desire to create a subordinate state? Is it a subord a state subordinate to him, or is it more important to him? Do you think that it's not pro Western? His objective is very explicitly to change the political order in Ukraine. It's not about territorial conquest per se. Uh, it's about ending Ukraine's uh, ambitions to join, to be part of the West to begin with. Uh, but he has written lengthy articles and he has given lengthy speeches um, explaining that he thinks that Ukraine has no right to exist as an independent state uh, that it has no nationhood, uh, that it is simply a natural part of Russia that was reft from Russia uh, by the stupid Soviets and then by what he, you know the, what he has called the greatest geopolitical disaster of the 20th century, which was the fall of the Soviet Union. So it's, it's, it's apparent from everything that he says that his ultimate objective is to regain uh, full control over Ukraine in some way um, the exact way in which he would govern a reconquered Ukraine is not yet clear, but that he would re in, that he is insisting that it be in Russia's sphere of influence under Russia's control is not is not in question. 